today I'm back with another one of my fluid art videos. It is acrylic paint pouring and today I have a 12 by 12 canvas and a colander from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using the leftover paints from my base pour and let me show you what those are. First of all I have cobalt, black, and white from the Artist Loft Flow acrylic line. Then I have this pink by Folk Art. It's bright pink. I have it just by itself and mixed with a little bit of this acrylic, I mean this um, handmade modern glitter, silver glitter. Although maybe we'll see it when it's dry, but I really didn't notice it at all while the paint is wet. I have pink gold. This came from Target. I have Apple Barrel Gloss Purple Velvet and this Satin Acrylic Paint Handmade Modern also from Target in Heather. So I'm just going to set this on my canvas and start pouring just random colors. First of all, I'm going to start with a pool of white. I don't know if that's necessary but I wanted to. Next, I'm going to add some cobalt blue. Some of this pretty heather. Maybe a tiny bit of black. I didn't add any black in my last one. Black in there. Some of this purple velvet. Some white. Let's get some of this bubblegum pink in there. Some of these colors have silicone, and I already can't remember which ones, even though I just mixed them a few minutes ago. Hmm, that might be plenty of paint. Let's give this just a second. Actually, while it's doing that, I'm going to put some white paint on the corners just to help with that. up now and let it I want more of that gold to flow through. Let's put it back down for a second. And all right. Pick it up, give it a little shake and put it over here. Okay, well that's interesting. I can say that much. Um, let me torch it first before I do anything else. The outside ring is so pretty and I know I'm going to lose it, but See how much of it I can save. All right, start. Hmm, I don't know which way to go. Let's go this way. More of some of that.
this is not at all what I, I guess I said, could say this with every painting. It's not at all, at all what I was expecting, but it really isn't. Let's see if we can save some of this pretty color here. Hmm. All right, let's take it back this way. Let me see if I have all my corners. There we go. All right, guys, what do you think? Um, I think I really like it. Now, all these colors will dry darker and some of the colors will sink into other colors. And let me get my gloves off. And I will torch it one more time. Oops. I'm always hitting that camera. A little spot. I'm gonna scoop it up. This is just really bare right here on the canvas. On the corner, I mean. Bare edge. Let me check the other corners. This one needs a little something. Okay, so honestly, when I first poured this one, I thought it was going to be a fail. I thought I was going to hate it. But I couldn't be more wrong. It is so pretty. I'm going to bring you down close and let you see it. I realize it's difficult with the lights on because of the glare on the wet paint. But check this out up close. It is so pretty. just gorgeous so I will bring you guys back tomorrow and show you what it looks like 24 hours later so here it is the next day it's not completely dry it's gonna take a couple of days to dry completely I think the last ones I did took about three days but I might have used too much paint on them so let me take you down close I love the way this looks look at all these cells and that's what the silicone does it creates these little blobby cells and it is so pretty. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of this one. I really think it's pretty, but you know, I did it so I guess it's hard for me to judge. And that's what it looks like. And just quickly, I wanted to show you this one. I actually had enough leftover paint to do one more of the colander pours. So I got a smaller canvas and did this one. And I love this part, this blue, I don't know what you call it, swirly part. I think that is so pretty. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.